Hi guys, welcome back to Junris Plagada React. So for this video reaction, let's go to our favorite country which is Russia. Privyet and spasiba to our Russian friends. How are you all guys that you're doing well and amazing? And the title of this video, as you can see in my thumbnail, 50 common phrases Russian basic Russian. And credit to the owner also with the video, Lingua Marina. I'll put in the description box below so that you can connect also with the owner of the video. And if you're new to my channel, just click on subscribe button. Click on notification bell so that you'll be updated on our future uploads. And if you have some comments and suggestions, related to this video or any russian videos that you can suggest drop it comment section i'd love to read and respond to you all and make your video request and thank you so much to russian beer for suggesting with this one actually you suggested do things about russia but this this is related also uh, especially on my channel we have to know about uh phrases or words about russian so that we will understand we will know also little by little this is such incredible because learning such things especially to a russian because our channel is more on a Russian uh, video reaction. So this is uh, important also that we have to learn. And I hope you guys you will enjoy this one. And I really want to hear also with you at the comment section what are your thoughts with regards to this one. And I want you to turn on the CC down there for your Russian and English subtitles. Let's get to it. Enjoy with this one, guys. Wow. Thank you so much for this So excited hey guys welcome to my channel in case you see me for the first time my name is marina i was born and raised in russia Hi, and marina. i just moved to the united states three years ago so oh. i'm this russian who's gonna teach you 50 common phrases in russian right now Russian woman are so beautiful. It's if like you're interested in Russian culture or expression. maybe you're traveling to Russia, this is going to be super useful amazing. for you because I'm going to include hacks, how to pronounce Russian words and how to communicate with Russians. And also, I'm going to include very modern Russian phrases. Phrase wow. number one, and this is the Pre way you say hi in Russian. Super easy. Remember, Privet. Привет is informal. If you uh -huh. want to sound formal, you can say Здравствуйте. I know this is super Typical. complicated and you're like, what did she say? Okay, again, Здравствуйте. Здравствуйте. This is a formal way to say hi in Russian. So you can either Typical. go by Привет oh and we would love if you say Привет. Like, big, I am that's amazed by foreigners Even speaking it's informal, Russian. That's Please. Fine. You know, don't be ashamed. Just go out and say Privyat. Don't Privyat. think about Zdravstvite if that's too complicated for you. To say yes in Russian, no. you say da. In no. order to say no, you can say yeah. nyet. In order to say maybe, you can say navierne. No. Navierne yeah. means maybe. Tough part. No. We yeah. Russians, we say yes, no, maybe all together in one phrase and that actually makes sense. So maybe. you can say Daniel Navierne. And this phrase oh. means that you are leaning towards saying yes, no. no so for example, somebody Daniel. asks you, do you want to go to Moscow next week? And you're like, Daniel Navierne. Which means, yes, no, no, not maybe. really. I don't want to go to Moscow because maybe you have to finish some stuff in St. Petersburg before it. you go to Moscow. So you can say Daniel Navierne, yeah. which is if we translate it verbatim, means yes, no, maybe. maybe. Next phrase, my favorite, because here's I'm the learning. life hack. I love you in Russian is you Я люблю вас. Я люблю вас. But you can say yellow blue bus really quickly. Uh -huh. And yellow that blue. would sound oh. yellow blue bus to any Russian. Yellow blue bus. Compare yellow blue bus, yellow, yellow blue bus. Really, really similar. And every yellow Russian would bus. understand what you mean. So super easy to remember so nice. yellow blue bus fast and you get I love you in Russian. Okay, other bus. ways to say hi. Dobre utra. If we translate it word to word, we get good morning. Dobre utra. Now, during the day, you can say Dobri dzień. It's good day or hello. Dobri dzień. And if you want to say good evening, you can say Dobri vecher. Good 
evening. Dobry vecher. Wow. Okay, the next phrase you say after you greet a person, you tell him how happy you are to see him and you say Rada tibia vidit. If wow. you're a female, if you're a man, you say oh Rad tibia vidit. Good to see you. Right. There are a couple of ways to ask how are you in Russian and giving you some background. In America, when we ask how are you, we do not expect an explicit answer. We just expect, you know, the person I'm to ask fine, how are we good. and maybe say good or fine. Yeah. In Russia, if I call my mom and she asks me how are you and I say I'm fine, thank you, she will you be wanna... offended. Right. Now, in Russia, you have to go and talk about your life in the period since you've last talked to that person. So if my mom calls me every day and she asks, how are you? I have to answer what we've eaten for breakfast, what we've eaten for dinner, what oh, we've done yesterday evening, blah, blah, blah. So difference. you have to actually share. And this is how Russian friendship works. We share wow. a lot of stuff if we're friends. So if somebody asks wow. you, how are you? Not only you should say that you're fine, fine. you should yeah. also tell that you're enjoying your Russian trip, that yesterday you've been to the Mariinsky Theater Wait, and you're in love with morning. belly. Please wow, remember that's... that. People would understand, but it's considered a little rude just to reply with, okay, I'm yes. okay. That's it. I get it. Russia. Perfect. So, как дела? Как... How are you? Ah, yes, you can also ask, which is more complicated, как, как поживаешь? Which means, how is your life going? Как no, поживаешь? Как or, Как дела? If everything is going well, you say хорошо, which is well, I'm doing well, хорошо, and then you go and talk about how you're enjoying your life. If everything is awesome, you can say прекрасно, прекрасно, awesome. If you are not doing really well, it's again, it's okay in Russia to share, like share, I'm fine, or so-so is неплохо, неплохо, which is not bad. And then you can complain, it's okay as well. And in order to thank a person for asking this question or just thank a person in general, the word thank you in Russian is спасибо. Спасибо. Okay, now if you want to ask a person's name, you ask как вас зовут? And this is a formal way to ask it because вас is um, you with a capital letter. We don't have that in American, uh, in English. If you want to be more informal, you can say как тебя зовут. А как тебя зовут? Василькова. What is your name? Как тебя зовут? And in order to answer, you say меня зовут Марина. My name is Marina. And by the way, guys, if you are planning your trip to Russia or if you want to brush up, your Learn. Russian language skills. I have a company that can help you. Linguatrip.com is a booking platform for language courses oh, all over the world. That. And we work with a lot of schools in Russia. And guess what? There is a school in St. Petersburg uh, wow. that we work with really closely. And I rent my own apartment to students that come to Russia. We moved there when I was seven years old and I moved out when I was 25. So wow. if you want to live in the same apartment, it's pretty central. Outside of July, it's always available to book on linguatrip.com. So the link will be below. Wow. Come to Russia, Amazing. learn Russian and attend the local language school with other people who study Russian as well. It's really Let's amazing. move on. If you are excited about the information I'm giving you in this video and you find it super useful, you can thank me by saying большое спасибо. This is a translation of thank you so much. Like, спасибо is thank you, but thank you so much is большое спасибо. If you like this video, go ahead and type in a comment below saying большое спасибо. Try and type it in Russian. Let's see how, how it goes with you guys. If you want to say that's all right, you say не за что. If somebody says thank you and you're like, no worries, it's okay, if you want to say excuse me, you say извините. Извините. Another way to say excuse me is простите. So basically they're pretty it's much the same. Thing. So oh, I'm learning. Uh, it's just Good. it depends on what you want to use more. Простите or извините. If somebody stepped on you or pushed you and somebody's saying извините, you can say no worries, right? And no worries in Russian is ничего страшного. Ничего страшного. Okay, now let's move to a little more complicated stuff. When you want to ask somebody if they speak English, you ask them вы говорите по-английски? 
Вы говорите по-английски. And by the way, you would be surprised how many people do not speak English in Russia. So be ready with these phrases. Write them down. Take them with you. Yes, I am. Вы говорите по-английски. Do you speak English? The next phrase you should learn is that you don't speak Russian well. Я плохо говорю по-русски. My Russian is not good. I speak Russian really badly. Я плохо говорю по-русски. If you want to say excuse me in a sense that you are asking somebody to repeat something, you can say что простите? Что простите? Or you can just say что? Что? What? What do you say? Excuse me? Что? If somebody is speaking too fast, you can tell them говорите медленнее. Говорите медленнее which means Gavari. speak slower. If you are lost in the city and you want to find your way, you can ask как пройти к and then you include destination. For example, how do I get to the hermitage? Как пройти к эрмитажу? Как пройти к эрмитажу? Exclamations in Russia. When you like something, you can say class. And this is a common word. We have it in English, we have it in German, we have it in a lot of languages. So you can just say class and that will be Russian as well. Wow. Another way that we say wow. awesome, wow is kruta. Kruta. Wow. And of course you can just say wow. We understand wow. Wow. If you want to inquire about the price, you can say сколько это стоит. Сколько это стоит? How much does it cost? If you do not understand what's going on, you can say Я не понимаю. Марина, I don't understand. Я не понимаю, Марина. Or if you understand, the part не just goes away and leaves you with Я понимаю. Я понимаю means I understand. Okay, uh, okay, super weird thing. Everybody thinks that yep. when they come to Russia and when they drink alcohol, they say nasdarovia, which sounds a lot like a Russian phrase, but it's actually from Poland. And yes, Polish uh, people use it, but yes. Russians do not use it. Russians only use it when they're with foreigners because they know foreigners are gonna say nasdarovia and they're like, okay, we're gonna say nasdarovia as well. Yeah, I do that. But drinking. when Russians drink, we don't say, say anything. We're like, chokniemse. Uh, this means like, Let's kick our glasses. Chokniemse. If you're in a really Russian environment, instead of just saying one word, we would go and talk about the meaning of life and the meaning of happiness. Again, Russians love to talk. But you can always say this that I will understand because it, it has the meaning in Russia. It means that you're drinking for health. But how can you drink alcohol for health? That's a question. Let's Correct. move on. If you want to wish somebody a good meal, you say приятного аппетита. And it is very common to wish somebody to have a good meal. Oh, we, we say it all the time. Приятного аппетита. Because food in Russia is very important. Lunch consists of three dishes. We have soup, we have main dish, we have dessert. So, oh my God, we love to eat. And you will be amazed how great food in Russia is. Oh my gosh. Correct. I want to Ginza try restaurants, one any, any restaurant that belongs to that chain. Oh my God, they're my favorites. If something is tasty, so you come to a Ginza restaurant, you say, Вкусно. Вкусно means tasty. Вкусно. If you don't like the food, you can say фу, which is like ek. It's not Ooh. very polite, but uh, people will get it фу. If you want to say high five, and we do that a lot yes, uh, yeah. in Russians, дай yeah. пять. High five, дай пять. If you like something, you can say мне нравится. I like it. Мне нравится. Again, with just adding the не part, you can say, I don't like it. Мне не нравится. I don't like it. Мне не нравится. If it's your first time in Russia, you can say, Я первый раз в России. It's my first time in Russia. Я первый раз в России. If you want to ask somebody to add you on Facebook, and yes, we use a lot of apps in Russia. We have WhatsApp, we use Facebook, uh, we use Uber. Uber is a really good way to move around St. Petersburg, Moscow, and some other cities in Russia. But wow. LinkedIn is blocked. And I assume maybe some other websites are blocked as well, but the majority of services work. So you can ask a person to add you on Facebook and you can say, Dabaif Minya Facebook. Dabaif Minya Facebook. When you miss somebody, you say Я скучаю по тебе. I miss you. Я скучаю по тебе. If you want to stop something, you say stop. Stop. In Russian, it's the same. Let's wrap up this video with a couple of phrases to say goodbye in Russian. 
До свидания. Which means, see you soon. До свидания. Пока is an informal way to say bye. Пока, пока. If you are saying somebody, if you're wishing a good night to someone, you can say спокойной ночи. Good night. Спокойной ночи. Спокойной всем ночи. And if somebody is going away, you can wish them a safe trip, which is счастливого пути. Счастливого пути. All right, guys, this is the end of this video. Bravo, I Marina. hope you enjoyed I it. I it. hope you are I still watching. It. If you're still watching, please like this video so that I know that it was super exciting for you and you watch it up to the very end. Wow. If you're not yet subscribed to this channel, there is a red button below. I will be traveling to Russia this summer and please expect a lot of cool videos from Russia. Ask me questions about Russia. I can answer them in English. I can communicate with you from an American perspective. Okay, uh, I hope you liked it. I will Thank see you, you soon and пока пока. Wow, she's amazing. Thank you so much Marina for this amazing and incredible interesting video that learning Russian phrases so incredible especially to those people who want to visit and travel to Russia and this is a great video that uh, you want to watch and learn something about it before going to Russia at least you have something to prepare especially me as a content creator like mostly of my video reaction are Russians I really have to learn with this one and I really want to go back and watch with this one and write with those important uh, like uh, phrases that you, I have to pronounce it properly also because it might be it get the Russian will be offended if I mispronounce with this one. This is interesting and I love it so much. Marina did an amazing job making this video and giving those 50 common phrases of Russian. That's very important because these important words, the phrases that every every day that we are encountering it and this is incredible. Thank you so much Marina. Bravo and Priviet for this amazing video. I, I learned a lot. I did and I will check the uh, link that you are putting in your uh, description also. I hope guys you enjoyed watching with this one and if you do and if you really want to see the full video and connect with the owner of the video I'll put in the description box below. If you like this video guys same as I did just give a massive thumbs up. Like and share subscribe also with my channel. This is Junis Blagadag React saying stay humble so positive guys. Plan to connect my social media account is in here. If you want to connect my second channel in the description box below. Thank you so much Privyat and Spasibat or Russian friends. Bye bye guys and see you in my next video reaction. God bless.